Hello everyone, the Queen Edit 2509 model has surprised me once again. I built a new workflow with it that lets me do some really cool multi-image edits. Let me show you what I can do. First, check out this image of a vibrant splash. Using my workflow, I can blend an image of a beverage can directly into it. Now the can is completely surrounded by that splash. Notice how the splash background stays consistent. And if you compare this new can to the original one, it also looks very consistent. This workflow isn't just for products. It works great for portraits too. For example, I can blend this woman right into this beach scene. One big advantage of using the Queen Edit model for tasks like this is prompt control. I can use text prompts to create different effects easily. For instance, I can make this woman stand in a room, sitting on a chair, or sitting on a window seat just by changing the prompt. This workflow is incredibly versatile. It even handles close swaps. Or, I can add something like this necklace onto the woman's neck. Look closely at those details. Pretty convincing, right? Now let's go through how this workflow actually works. I'm running ConfUI here on Running Hub, a cloud service that comes with most models and nodes pre-installed. If you want to learn more about Running Hub, check the link in the video description below. Here we have our two input images, the beach scene and the woman's portrait. Our final goal is to get her standing on the beach with her feet in the water. The first group uses the fast canvas node to position the woman on the beach. See that icon in the upper right corner that looks like a lock? When the lock is open, you can move the woman around freely. Once you are happy with her position, just lock it. If you need to start fresh, click the reset button. After we lock the position, the workflow defines the area for the painting using the Queen Image Edit model. This mask gets used later in the third group. The InPaint Crop node redefines that in painting area. It also redefines the InPaint mask itself. The prompt is crucial. For example, if I didn't specifically write keep the same pose in the prompt, her pose could change. Sometimes, if the inpainting area isn't large enough, problems show up in the output. If that happens, you can adjust the mask box extend node parameters. This expands the mask area to cover more ground. Let's zoom in here. You might notice the woman's face and other details look blurry at first. That's exactly why I added another node group for second pass of repainting. You can adjust the denoising strength for this impainting step if necessary. After this repainting pass, the details in the final output becomes much sharper. This beach scene is just one example of what this workflow can do. I've actually packaged screenshots showing other scenarios together. If you'd like access to all of those workflows, please consider joining our premium community. There's a 7-day free trial available. If not, subscribing to our channel is also greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.